going through the pass between Arizona and Utah on Highway 15. This is a really, really cool drive. Walls of solid rock and a little highway passing through it. So this will be the video for this week since I'm out of town at my job, or with my job, I should say. So I'll get a little bit of video for you so that you can kind of see this pass. It is one of the coolest things you'll ever see if you haven't been down it. But we're sitting on a bridge right now going through most of it because there's a river that runs underneath it. Sorry about the bouncing and everything. I just got to keep both hands on the wheel because it's a very, very dangerous section of road. It actually take you down to 55 miles an hour through here just to keep you safe. And after driving it a few times, I can understand why. There's the Virgin River over there. I don't know how well you can see it now. It was just there a minute ago. If I see it again, I'll definitely video it. They've got some pull-off areas for you to really take a look at everything. But once again, there's the Virgin River over there. In my rental car, they gave me a Dodge Charger, which is a, a Charger GT. It sounds throaty as heck. It seems to have a lot of pep in it. It's probably a V6, though, unfortunately. Really, really beautiful drive through here. It's sprinkling, sprinkling a little bit now, but you kind of get the idea. <clears throat> Lots of folks coming through here with their campers and their semis and everything else. There are some sections where you can pick up a little bit of speed, but for the most part, interesting drive as you can see by the size of the mountains we're going through. <clears throat> but the road crosses back and forth over the Virgin River the whole time it's going up the hill. I'm trying to keep the camera straight. <laughs> but yeah, the river underneath us just goes back and forth and you just basically spend time <clears throat> excuse me, going over bridges. But really, really cool drive. If you ever get over in this area um, of Vegas, if you go north, you'll actually go through the corner of Arizona where it grabbed your lottery ticket, which is what I did. And then come through this pass, even just to go up and back so that you can get video of it. Once again, the river's over here. the dry part of it. I don't know where it comes back in, but as we're going through this pass, we're rising in elevation. There's the river. As you can see, it's moving along pretty good with all the rain that we've had up here. Or I should say rain and snow we've had up here in the mountains of Utah. We're farther south. We're down near St. George. As I said, I'm down here with my job till Tuesday, so this will be your video of the week. I do have two in the can ready to go. One of them is the Chrysler 300 brakes, and you'll see some really interesting things that uh, I ran into on this trip. Or excuse me, on the repair of the, of the brakes. There's the river again over here. Well, you can see it. Hopefully you can. I'm trying to come up on the semis now. But yeah, you've got all that over there, and that's where the river's at. Move over and get around these semis a little bit. We're 
starting to come out towards the other side. But yeah, you can just tell by the size of these mountains here. This is cutting through one of the ranges. I don't know what the range name is, but definitely pretty, pretty cool over here. On the other side not raining on this side basically st george area is high desert so i think it sits around 4,000 feet i know coming through this pass about halfway down it says you're at 2,000 feet so maybe it's at three but it's up there it's high desert still as possible because I'm using my phone today. I didn't think to bring a camera with me. But we're starting to come out on the other side. There's once you get about to this point, the speed limit comes back up to, to a 80 mile an hour here in Utah. And it flattens out. We're about 16 miles south of St. George, 320 miles south of Salt Lake City, but that kind of gives you an idea everything around us really really pretty country and it's green as green can be because of all the rain this year in Utah so I'll cut it off at that and that's your video for today